In a season when many positions were filled by youthful newcomers, there were several keys to the continued success of Florida football. It's hard-hitting defense. It's capability to produce the big turnover. It's persistent pressure. It's consistent denial to enemy thrusts. Offensively, it was the ever-present threat of the explosive breakaway. The long run. Or the long pass. The ability to get the ball to the open man and go. The big play became the trademark of 1976 Florida football. Under the dynamic direction of head coach Doug Dickey, Florida's take it to him game style gave its fans a lot to cheer about. The Gators take the field against the University of Houston following a heartbreaking opening day loss to North Carolina. 24 to 21. Against the Tar Heels, Florida had driven from their own 25 to the Carolina 4 in the last minute and a half, only to have the clock run out on them. The Gators are hungry for their first taste of victory in 76, and the Houston Cougars are to be their first course. The Florida offense wastes little time. After a 35-yard touchdown run by Willie Wilder, this Jimmy Fisher to West Chandler pass gives them a quick 14-0 advantage. In the second quarter, Fisher caps an 80-yard drive with a 31-yard touchdown sprint, demonstrating his ability to run as well as to pass. Later, with Billy Kynes at quarterback, the Gators make it 28-0 when Earl Carr scores on a perfectly executed option play. Florida can do little wrong on this night. Number seven, Terry LeCount, is at the controls and tosses to Willie Wilder for a 21-yard gain. It's LeCount to Carr again. The Orlando Junior breaks into the open and high steps 46 yards into the end zone. An 82-yard drive in only three plays. The Gator defense with plays like this interception by all SEC back Alvin Cowens, number 24, limits the Cougars to their second lowest point total of the 76 season and a 49 to 14 route. Houston will go on to share the Southwest Conference title and down fourth ranked Maryland in the Cotton Bowl. But tonight, powered by an offense that gains over 600 yards, the University of Florida proves they'll be an explosive big play team in 76. It's perfect Florida weather for the game against Mississippi State. But while the skies are bright and sunny, there's a storm brewing on Gainesville's Florida field. The Gators score first with Willie Wilder going 37 yards off the option play. Mississippi State counters and holds a 10-7 lead in the second quarter when Bill Kynes, number five, rolls out and hits Derek Gaffney for a 44-yard gain. Moments later, Kynes, who was awarded a Rhodes Scholarship and will study in England following his career, fires a perfect strike between three defenders to Wes Chandler.
The Gators nearly doubled State's first half offense totals thanks to super stops like this one by freshman linebacker Scott Brantley. And rib rattling rushes as demonstrated by defensive end Jeff Cantor. Yet in the third period, State battles back and takes a 20 to 17 advantage. The fans throw in their two bits worth and then leave the rest up to the Gator offense. Willie Wilder responds. He takes Kine's pitch and bolts 91 yards through an alley set up by his blockers. Wilder has beaten Olympic sprinters like Ivory Crockett, so no one is about to catch him on what will be the longest touchdown of the 76 collegiate season. The Florida defensive unit keeps the pressure on as Darrell Carpenter, number 67, forces Bruce Threadgill into an unsuccessful scramble. The Gators widen their lead to 11 when senior dependable Larry Brinson takes the high road to the end zone. Florida adds a David Posey field goal, takes an intentional safety, and holds a four-point lead late in the game. With time running out, Coach Doug Dickey has his defense falling back to prevent any chance of a touchdown. And on the last play, Scott Brantley brings Bulldog upset hopes to an end. The win over Mississippi State was a hard-fought victory. The game hadn't been decided until the last play, a situation that marked five games in Florida's 76 season. Winning four of the five, the Gators' success was due to its wide-open, exciting offensive style. The open field breakaway. Or the bomb. And its constantly driving defense. But most of all, it was people. Players doing their job. Taking advantage of miscues. Going all out and giving their all. Making Florida football a winner. Traditional rival Florida State is another barn burner for the visiting Gators in white. Ahead three to nothing, the defense creates another quick scoring opportunity when Scott Hutchinson and Scott Brantley cause a fumble. On the next play, Larry Brinson carries it in. Early in the second quarter, David Posey adds to the lead with this 54-yard field goal, a new University of Florida record. After Florida State has rallied for two quick touchdowns, Jimmy Fisher steps up and fires to all Southeast Conference end Wes Chandler to go back out in front. But it's seesaw time, and FSU comes right back with a 16-play, 80-yard drive. The Gators answer with a Willie Wilder score. Fourth quarter now, and State's knocking again. 
Pressure from Cantor and Charlie Williams hurried Jordan's throw. And senior bowl performer Alvin Cowens, number 24, has another of his team-leading interceptions. Junior running back Tony Green brings the crowd to its feet with this 54-yard gallop down the left side, setting up Florida's final score. Earl Carr drives it across for a 33-23 advantage, midway through the last period. States threatening again. Jordan's try for six is knocked away by Warren Gaffney. So they settle for three and pull within seven. Florida State severely tests the Gator defensive backfield, but they are more than equal to the challenge. Continual pressure on the quarterback plus tight coverage downfield ensures the win as the Gators sack the Seminoles for Florida's fourth straight victory. Sporting a 5-1 record after defeating Tennessee, Florida returns home to meet the Auburn Tigers. Auburn gets on the board first but the Florida offense is moving. Jimmy Fisher hits Wes Chandler for a 20-yard gain. David Posey ends the drive as he adds to his career points scored record with this 29-yard field goal. Scott Hutchinson causes an Auburn fumble that is covered by Darrell Carpenter, the man voted most valuable defensive player by his teammates. Fisher goes for the big one, and it works. 44 yards and a touchdown to favorite target Wes Chandler. One of his 10 touchdown receptions that tie him for the top spot nationally in that category. The defense keeps the Tigers caged as the Gators take a 10-6 lead at the half. Florida has run the triple option play to perfection all year, and today is no exception. Willie Wilder picks up 21. Perhaps this play was most indicative of the type of year Gator football had. In what starts out looking like a play going nowhere, it turns into a sensational 63-yard jaunt by Willie Wilder. Outstanding individual efforts molded together to produce yet another Florida big play. time now in the fourth quarter. Tony Green picks up a quick 24. It's bombs away again. Fisher to Chandler. This play alone shows enough moves to easily understand why Wes Chandler led the SEC in reception yards and average per catch and was named All-Conference and selected an All-American by the Football News. Auburn to notch their sixth straight victory while coming up with some of their most spectacular offensive fireworks of the year. Football fever at the University of Florida involves action off the field as well as on. Just as the game itself, it's a combination of offense, defense, and strategy. Florida football is color, sight, and sound. It's spirit, involvement, and support. It's enjoyment, 
beauty, and reaction. That's football, Florida style. It's a wet, rainy homecoming day as the Gators meet non-conference foe Rice University, led by All-America quarterback Tommy Kramer, number nine. The Owls take to the air early as their ground game is nearly completely shut down. But Rice has trouble trying to go over the top of the defense, too. Interceptions by Scott Brantley, Tim Eight, number 29, and this one by Scott Hutchinson, good for a 36-yard touchdown, limited the air attack's effectiveness. Offensively, the Florida scoring machine is more productive than in any other game of the year. Quick openers gain massive chunks of yardage, as shown by Tony Green, number 33. And Robert Morgan, number 20. All-America West Chandler catches five passes for 95 yards, including this 21-yard touchdown. The convincing 50 to 22 win over Rice runs coach Doug Dickey's home record to 18 in a row. Orlando is the site for the last regular season game against the University of Miami. The Gators win the toss and then put together an 80-yard drive on their first possession. The longest gain of the series is this Fisher to Chandler pass, good for 25 yards. Willie Wilder takes it in from the six on a well-timed pitch. Miami comes back in the second quarter with a touchdown and a field goal for a 10-7 lead. But Jimmy Fisher is having the best day of his career. He pitches perfectly to Chandler. David Posey ties the score at 10 as he continues to shatter every school record for place kicking and career point score. The defensive unit has tightened up in the second half and pressures Miami quarterback E.J. Baker to throw the ball short. Right to Florida's Scott Brantley. The Gators just won't let Miami get moving. Florida's defense even puts points on the board, with Jeff Cantor blocking a punt out of the end zone for a safety. A replay shows the punter has little chance to get the kick away. Doug Dickey tells his quarterback he wants more insurance points. Jimmy Fisher gives them to him, going 48 yards for a touchdown, helping amass 366 yards in total offense to set a school record for single game production and lead his team to a 1910 triumph, ensuring an 8-3 season record. <laughs> 1976 marked the fourth consecutive year Florida appeared in a bowl game. During the course of the season, they had played three bowl-bound teams, and their first game in 77 is against defending national champion Pittsburgh. Gator football 76 was second to none in explosive excitement and unpredictability. A threat to score any time, 
the big play was always only a snap away. While key seniors will of course be missed, returning players give Florida faithfuls a lot to talk about. Some of those returnees are number 55, Scott Brantley, linebacker, SEC Rookie of the Year in 1976. Number 30, Earl Carr, running back. Number 66, Scott Hutchinson, nose guard and middle linebacker. Number 7, Terry LeCount, quarterback and defensive back. Number 43, Warren Gaffney, defensive back. Number 71, Michael Dupree, defensive end. Number 33, Tony Green, running back. Number 44, Willie Wilder, running back. And the battery of Bill Kynes, number five, to number 89, All-America, Wes Chandler. 1976 was the year of the big play as the University of Florida led the SEC in total offense for the second straight season. With many talented players back next year, the 1977 Florida Gators may be even more spectacular. So thumbs up, Florida. We have a lot to look forward to. Follow the Gators' home schedule. Get your tickets now. Big home games against Pittsburgh, Tennessee, Florida State, Kentucky, and Utah and become a part of exciting Florida football.